Okay, welcome back grade 9. The next video that we are going to be looking at for your history research task is going to be analyzing and annotating an image. This one we have had a lot of questions about, so please, if you need to go back and watch this video a couple of times, do so. I'm sure it will help you, but if there are still things you need cleared up, please feel free to send one of your teachers an email or go and see them in their staff room. Now to save a bit of time in this video, I've gone ahead and I have already found a source. I just did what we did for the first one. I went and did a Google search, found the cartoon, copied and pasted. I also then went and added the reference details or the citation details into the bibliography area so we have a source here as well. The next thing we need to do is we need to analyze the source. So to get things going what we might do is we might actually start by using some dot points. We're going to be looking at what we can see in the image and then what it means. Okay so the first thing that comes to mind when I have a look at this image are the two people in it. We can obviously see two males. So let's start there. So we can see two males. Now, what do you think that might mean? I happen to think that maybe this suggests that the target audience target audience of the cartoon is male. What else can we see? If you have a look here, we can see that the figure in the foreground is actually playing a console of some sort. I'm going to suggest he's playing a PS4 and I will explain why in a second. What does this mean? Well, it means that it suggests that he is a gamer, definitely. It suggests that he is up to date with current gaming trends. It also suggests that he likes hanging out and socializing with other gamers. We can also tell about that by the second figure in the image also. Now the next thing we need to focus on in the first picture are, is the speech bubbles. Now if we have a look at the speech bubbles and we can see that it's a conversation between the two figures. If you aren't aware, back in 2011, the PlayStation Online Network was actually hacked by a group of cyber terrorists. This was done with the means of stealing numbers, millions and millions of pieces of personal information. Now, a lot of people outside of the gaming realm probably wouldn't have heard too much about this unless they were paying particular attention to the news at the time. If you have a read of this conversation, you will understand that the guy in the background is actually asking Jack whether he was aware of the hacking situation. And the, the guy in the foreground, he says he's actually at peace with it. So we can say that the speech bubbles 
and I'll put in brackets the conversation So it's letting the audience in on a current issue in regards to the gaming console. It also suggests that Jack is a little bit ignorant if you have a look at his reply. It also suggests that the hacking situation is no longer a problem for Jack. When we have a look at the second image, we'll actually see that that's actually a lot clearer in there. So if we move on to the second image, if we have a look right in the center of the screen, we can actually see a PlayStation 3 console. If you're not sure of what, how I know the difference, go and Google it, you'll see exactly what it is. So let's have a look at a PS3 console in our notes and it's also broken that's quite significant grade 9 this suggests that Jack has actually broken his PS3 and upgraded to a newer console we can see the candles We actually call this a candlelight vigil. A candlelight vigil suggests that there is mourning happening. And by mourning, I mean grieving the loss of something. In this case, it's Jack grieving the loss of his Sony PlayStation 3. And I think we'll leave it at that. So we've got five dot points of analysis there. What we're going to do now is we're going to go back through our CUP analysis and we are going to make our annotations. So let me quickly open up our history exemplar, or our history task sheet. Bear with me for one second. And here it comes, so let's scroll down. Let's pop it into a split screen and we'll try and do this with both screens up at the same time. I'm not sure if that's going to be possible. It doesn't look like it is. Ah, yes. Here we go. Okay, so here is the cup analysis like we've been doing every source that we've looked at this, not even this unit, this term. So let's have a look at who has created the source. Now, I didn't leave the website up and I probably should have just to show you that the person who drew this cartoon is actually a social uh, commentator. He creates these cartoons to basically make fun of current situations. He doesn't only make fun of this whole PlayStation uh, PlayStation Network hacking. He makes fun of the President Trump campaign. He has made fun of the George Bush presidency, uh, the Barack Obama presidency. So he is quite well known in media circles for these cartoons. Now remember, if we go back up, we need to highlight this a certain color. Because we're looking at the credibility, if I remember correctly, we'll be highlighting this blue. 
yes so let's highlight that as we go this is going to be blue don't forget to highlight grade 9 I would hate for you to have to go back and do it after you've finished all of your annotations so what's next where was this source created it's probably not too relevant for this I'm assuming he created this in his office so it's not a big deal whose point of view now this is a tricky one because it's putting across the point of view or a popular opinion of what was going on I'm sure Jack and his mate here weren't the only ones to move on and just dump their PS3 and grab the new platform. So if we have a look at our dot points, I'm going to highlight this one. I'm going to add a comment here. I'm just going to say... that it's the point of view of the author that may also reflect and support the point of view of many PlayStation fans alike. I'm sure that these two people in the image weren't the only ones to go and pick up a brand new PlayStation after it was broken or after the network was hacked. What else can we have a look for credibility? Now trusting this information, would you trust everything you read in a cartoon? Probably not. So what I've put in that box is, this is a cartoon that reflects the personal opinion and agenda. All I did was highlighted the word cartoon there. As long as you can link it back to your analysis grade 9, you'll be doing just fine. Let's highlight that blue and let's move on to the utility of the source. Let's scroll up to find a colour. I believe it was yellow. Nope, pink for this one. Okay, the utility. So what are the key ideas here? I think this one here tells us that even though the PlayStation was hacked, Jack is happy enough to go and upgrade to a new console. So let's highlight that and write our comment. The key idea is that even though PSN was hacked, by upgrading a console, the issue would be solved. Okay, remember this is utility, so we are going to highlight this pink. Bam, there we go. Now, ideas, um, which ideas are facts? Well, PlayStation did actually come out and say after the hacking by upgrading to the new platform, the problem would be solved. But later on, it was found out that PlayStation did actually re-secure their own network. But one fact, one, one piece of this, one piece of analysis that is a fact is the fact that PS3 sales did plummet and PS4 sales skyrocketed. So this is actually fact. So let's put PS3 sales died after the hack. 
PS4 sales increased. And if you do a quick research, quick internet search on this, you too will be able to find information to corroborate that statement. So the last one here, how does this source help you respond to your investigation? This one is actually quite important, grade nine, because we need to know whether or not it actually goes with everything else we've heard so far. So by analyzing this source, what we can actually see is that this opinion here could potentially be the opinion of many PlayStation gamers out there. It's telling us that by buying a new PlayStation, there would be no longer problems with the old PlayStation. So, let's highlight the word upgraded and let's add another comment. We're going to say that the upgraded console offers a better online experience. Remember the online experience is what we're actually focusing on. So the upgraded console offers a better online experience because information is a lot safer and the chance of a network hack is much less. Again, utility, so we're going to highlight that one pink. Okay, so we've got three points of utility here. What we're going to do now is move on to perspective. So what is the purpose of this source? Now, this, the third dot point there probably gives it gives us the information that we need. So it's letting us in on the current issue or a current issue in regards to a PlayStation. So let's add a comment. So it's making the public, oh, much of the public wouldn't have been aware of this, and it's also making light of a real threat to personal security. Because this is actually a blog, if you have a look at the link down here, it's actually a blog spot, so it's someone's personal website. It's also actually produced to entertain as well. So before we move on, I'm actually going to add another comment. To say it is drawn to entertain as well as inform. Let's highlight that one yellow as well because we've moved on. There we go. The next thing we need to look at, when was the source created? This source was created in 2011, we can see that, and we can see that from up here, so I'm going to try and highlight the date, I can't add a comment, so again, I'll just highlight the author. Actually, I might just continue on from this comment here, I will highlight it in a different colour, so you can see. So this was created in the same year as the hacking situation occurred.
and after Sony came out and apologized to the public they actually made how the hack occurred available for the public so the information was there ready for an author like Vu to access if he wanted to so who is the audience for this now we could say that it is for males so let's highlight males here we'll add a comment and just type in why we think that they're the only gender represented in the cartoon itself so let's highlight that and bam there we go now the perspective that has been presented I think after everything that we've seen it suggests that the people who were playing the console at the time weren't too worried about the hack and we've written that here in the third dot point so let's add a comment Let's highlight this yellow. And grade nine, that is how you analyze and annotate a visual source. It's not that hard. It just takes practice and it takes some real out of the box thinking. Ask yourself the questions over here. Go through your task sheet and ask yourself those questions. Keep it next to you on the screen, just like I've done. If you have any more problems, send me an email, ask your teachers in class, or watch the video over again, and over again, and over again, until everything sort of clicks. We're more than happy to help you out. Thank you for watching. Tune in for the next video that will be looking at how to put it all together in the reflection. Good luck.